Hi, I'm Major Connie Morris of the Salvation Army, and this is the East Daily Download. 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 That's right. This is the East Daily Download. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to the East Daily Download. My name is Mark. I'll be your tour guide on this adventure across the East. It's big game week and we are trying to get down to the meaning of what that means. But we know the big game is on Sunday on WNCT 9 on your side, but that's where the trail runs cold. So Lauren has left me a series of clues that have led me to here, which is my home office. And I think I have an idea. I think this might just be an eSports thing on Sunday. The reason I say that is because some of the clues led me to NBA Jam. I have got the NBA Jam game here at home in my office. It was a Christmas present uh, from my wife and uh, friend Jason, so thank you to both of them and Amanda. Okay, I think the clues to whatever the big game are lie in NBA Jam. Uh, why don't we check this first story out? I'll meet you back here in a little bit and we'll uh, figure this out with NBA Jam, okay? Hang tight, everybody. See you soon. So we were just talking with my mom about how our virtual birthday celebrations have evolved into celebrating all types of holidays. My dad is the first birthday that we kind of celebrated virtually, but we're joined by my dad here today on the show. Dad, thank you so much for joining us. Glad to join you today. When we took it from birthdays to other holidays, I think that was a pivotal family moment. Hello, my name is Jamila Tremio and I am Anissa's sister. Hello, my name is Damian Tremio and I'm Anissa's brother-in-law. And one of the things that we did as a family is once we realized that it wouldn't be safe to travel, we started communicating now what are some creative things we could do. And we came up with some fun activities like a cooking show and Zoom calls in a family movie night. Yeah, and I feel as though, you know, as the founder of Ladies of Virtue, I'm mentoring so many different girls, and what they're telling me is that they're staying isolated in their homes, and that's what makes me feel like this is so important because so many people are isolating themselves, and so even though you're at home, you don't have to feel like you're isolated. You can still feel as though you're connected, and so that's why I truly appreciated our new traditions because I did not feel disconnected from my family at all. The cooking show for Thanksgiving that we decided to do. I had the graphic artist at the station, Ashley. She made this wonderful graphic that says cooking with the iron skillet that you all can see here. And dad, why, what's the iron skillet? Like why did, why did we come up with that name? Well, I think that's the name I may have coined for your mother over the years. Your mother's just an excellent cook uh, and she enjoys doing it. And she pulls together these recipes and she spends a, a, a lot of her uh, spare time looking at recipes, watching cooking shows. She even, uh, she even recruited me watching Chopped and all these kind of things, but she's really excellent cook. And Dad, you served, you were the perfect host. <laughs> Dad was the host of that show, seriously. <laughs> he had everybody showing different angles of the food. You know how when you're watching Chopped or those cooking shows, you got the aerial view, you got the tight shot of them, like thinking of what they're going to make, and then the actual <laughs> process. So we exactly. had all of that too. Like, and one thing I loved too was the fact that I think it was like a two or three hour process. It definitely was not, you know, a quick 20 minutes, maybe two to three hours, but the time went by so fast. I felt like we were all together. Uh, and actually I didn't miss being in person, which was weird. Of course, I look forward to the day when we can get back to being um, together. But uh, honestly, I did not miss it. I had just as much fun. We laughed, we uh, joked around and the food tank came out really good. We had our routine down with the recipes. So we knew we were gonna make food again. Every Christmas, mom does. And so we will always drink mimosas and then make mom's shrimp and grits. Mm -hmm. So we made that from home. But Aaron, my brother, got really involved with the cocktail portion of our Christmas celebration. And he is a bartender in Chicago. And he made us all, our, well, we made our own eggnog at home with his, following his lead. So how was that, Dad? Wasn't that great? I, I was surprised. Again, once that you could do this online like that, doing that with, with Zoom, 
He told us all the ingredients we need to have before the production, We're using that term for now. And so we all had all the ingredients together and he just went through the steps. And he actually, uh, and it act, after we did all the steps, it shows how to shake it, how to mix it, and how to put it in the cocktail. At the end of it, when you take that first sip, it was so great. It was eggnog. Hey, welcome back here to the East Daily Download. Hope your day's off to a great start. I'm trying to figure out what the big game is. I feel like I'm all around it, but I'm not having any luck nailing it down. So I thought it had something to do with the eSports NBA Jam, but I'm starting to think that's not accurate because I'm not finding any clues. So I thought I would hedge my bets, get my Wood Ducks hat on. Maybe it's a baseball thing. I don't know. Let's keep playing the game here. Ugh, not going particularly well in this game. But you know, even when things don't go well in a video game, there's always the real world. And the real world contains the East Daily Download and the WNCT mobile app, which you can get, you can download, you can watch the East Daily Download on the go wherever you are, whether it's in front of the big game or in front of an e-game or... Oh, let me shoot. Yay! But... My point is, there's a lot of ways you can watch the East Daily Download that don't require you to be in front of your TV at noon. I mean, we prefer you to do that, but if it doesn't fit your lifestyle, it doesn't fit your ability to do that, so, or you don't put it on the DVR, that's fine too. We have a lot of options for you. Uh, and speaking of options, we got this next story. Let's check it out. Mile marker 50 is 50 places I've never been the year I turned 50. And this is trip number 14. Bryson City is the gateway to the Great Smoky Mountains, an outdoor lover's dream with a surprising amount of luxurious options to relax after a long day. The Stokoa House at Sky Ridge Yurts is the only cabin rental amid the eight yurts nestled around the property. It's a little slice of heaven. Seems inspiration. Okay, look out here for inspiration. Oh, okay. The modern glass front offers stunning views. See what I mean? Just outside of town is the road to nowhere. An environmental issue kept the federal government from finishing the road to nowhere. The road ends at this tunnel. It's dark, like really dark. Okay, I read it was dark in here. It's about two o'clock in the middle of the afternoon. So yeah, if you came in the evening, you'd want to bring a flashlight. On the other side, a three mile loop that seemed to get hotter and harder with every mile. A uh, wild boar trap? Where are we? Okay, our little hike turned into kind of a medium hike. I got us a little bit lost. But we're back on track, and we can see the lake just ahead. Beautiful, right? Now, if we can only find our way back to the car. Carolina Bound Adventures is a vacation concierge that can hook you up with nearly any kind of adventure, like horseback riding. The Nantahalo Riding Stables is a small, family-owned business that's been here 43 years. All this adventure works up an appetite. I vote for the patty melt at the Boxcar Cafe and the cheese curds at CJ's Grill. One thing to keep in mind when you travel during COVID, restaurants often have different hours of operation now and many require reservations. Fortunately for us, we got a reservation at the Bistro at the Everett Hotel. Everyone recommended this place and now so do we. Next time I'm in the area, I wanna time it for a moonlight zip at the Nantahala Outdoor Center. This trip checked off a bucket list item for me. Don't let the partially paved path fool you. It's 412 feet up to the summit at Water Rock Knob. The path gets steep fast with steps. Can you hear the heavy breathing? That's me. Just below the summit is another trail, thick with roots and trees and mud. But everything is literally climbing over this. So intense, I couldn't really film it but it was worth it to get here, the site of a plane crash from 1983, still spread over the mountainside. 
Needless to say, after that, I needed to relax and clean up. A sunset soak in a treetop cabana at Lakeview at Fontana was just what the doctor ordered. Okay, I felt a little fancy. Looks like something you'd see in Bali, not the North Carolina mountains. But there's no mistaking the Carolina sunset. Well done, Bryson City. Well done. Follow me on milemarker50.com and on Facebook and Instagram. When the clock hits 11, sit down with nine on your side news to end your day. We'll walk you through the stories that matter to you with clarity and context. Plus, Storm Team 9, always forecasting to make sure you're prepared for tomorrow. Join us weeknights on nine on your side. You can find the East Daily Download on the WNCT mobile app, available for free at Google Play and the App Store. We'll be right back with more local stories on the East Daily Download. my bets. The esports thing doesn't seem to be the right fit. Got the Carolina Hurricanes hockey jersey on. It's a big game when they play. Could be. Got the Wood Ducks hat on, the baseball. Could be. I just don't feel like it's the right fit though because this time of year, I mean in hockey I guess it could be. Esports I guess could be any time of year. NBA, yes, but CBS doesn't air that. So, and we're too early for um, how shall I refer to it? The big dance that airs in March on CBS. So, um, tell you what, I'm going to keep playing this, looking for clues, but I feel like I'm going to need a little bit of help. The big game is this Sunday on WNCT 9 on your side. We know that. But what is it? I mean, you know, I wish I had a resource. I do have a resource now that I think about it. Tell you what, uh, why don't we check out this next story? We'll come back here, we'll wrap things up. I think I have an idea, okay? And I am not winning. You know, it's crazy to think that the Marvel movies have made over $22 billion at the box office, and now they're coming to the small screen in Disney+. Plus. The cast told our Nichelle Turner the secrets of their strange new WandaVision. This is our home now. I want us to fit in. This Marvel Universe looks very different. We're used to explosive action, not classic sitcoms. The new direction was a little strange for Elizabeth Olsen. Yeah, the first episode was definitely like a full thrust into sitcom land with having the audience there and having two days to shoot an episode is something that I've never experienced in my life. <laughs> we are an unusual couple, you know? Oh, I don't think that was ever in question. With a reported $150 million budget, the nine-episode comedy series picks up right after Avengers Endgame and will be a gift for all Marvel devotees. I think the end of this is enormous for fans that have really been watching Marvel. Ooh. I think the payoff is huge. So if you haven't seen all 23 Marvel movies, how can you prepare? What is your best tip in cramming Marvel movies then to come into this? Well, if it's just specific for our show, I think all they really have to watch is the ones with Paul and I. <laughs> <laughs> it's as simple as that. <laughs> and of course, we'll have so much more in the next Entertainment Tonight. I'm Kevin Frazier. Hey everybody, I'm your Morning Edition meteorologist, Alex Wasilenko, here to introduce you to our new Morning Edition anchor, Julianne Dell. Welcome, Julianne. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. I am so excited to be here and to get my day started with you. All right, nine seconds on the clock. Here we go. First job. Christmas store. Favorite holiday. <laughs> Christmas, duh. TV show you just Madam watched. Secretary. Where did you go to college? Wake Forest. How do you start your day? Coffee. Favorite breakfast food? Bacon. What time can you watch Morning Edition? Weekdays, 4.30 to 7. And cut. Now downloading Salute to the East.
Hey, Eastern North Carolina, I'm Alexa Kay with the Down East Wood Ducks, the baseball team in Kinston, North Carolina. And just because we don't have baseball right now, doesn't mean we can't give you guys a tour of the stadium. Let's go check it out. Well, we are at the first stop on our stadium tour, which is obviously the bullpen. This is where all of our pitchers are gonna be warming up. And if they're a reliever, they're gonna be hanging out over here while the game's going on, getting ready to be called in. Let's see what's next. Okay, the next stop on our tour is the Wood Ducks Dugout, which is a crucial part of any baseball complex. Most fans would not get to see it, so we're just giving you guys a sneak peek. Here it is. And the next stop on our tour are the batting cages, which are pretty self-explanatory, but not everybody gets to see them, so we wanted to make sure that you got to. Next stop, let's go. Okay, the last stop on our tour is the Woody's Press Box. This is where our visiting and home broadcasters sit and our PA guy and a lot more important people up here. I spend a lot of time up here before games getting ready for the show that we put on for you guys. And we definitely wanted you all to have a sneak peek and a behind the scenes of the press box. So here you go. We can't wait for baseball to start back. We miss you, we miss baseball and go with Ducks. Now downloading Salute to the East. When you're tired, winding down from a long day dealing with... Get the news you need at 11 to finish your day out right. A lot can happen between 6 and 11, but we've got you covered. From preparing the most up-to-date forecast in our weather center so you know what to expect in the morning, to continuing to follow stories that impact you and covering live breaking news. Nine on Your Side at 11 is here for you. Join us weeknights on Nine on Your Side News at 11. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the East Daily Download. I have determined that we are not talking about baseball. We are not talking about hockey. We're not talking about chess, esports. The big game, I think, has something to do with what is routinely seen on Sundays on WNCT. And I realize that I have a resource that I can confirm that with. So, if you join us tomorrow, I'm going to make a call to start the show to a good friend of the program, and we're going to get some answers. I should have probably done this right out of the gate, but hey, scavenger hunts are always kind of cool. So, let me... Boom! Got it. Let me keep playing. Although, have a great day. I'm going to see you next time here on the East Daily Download. Where we will get some answers to what the big game is this Sunday. I understand it's going to be huge, it's going to be amazing, it's going to be insane, it's going to be crazy, it's going to be the biggest, baddest, bestest thing ever. So, boy, that's a tease right there, isn't it? Um, so, join us tomorrow as we get to the bottom of this mystery. I'll see you then. Okay, bye-bye, everybody.
Friday on the East Daily Download, we'll have a new Fashion Friday. Keep a lookout for Salute to the East. Plus, we'll take a look back at our Whirly Gig stage interviews and performances. That's Friday here on the East Daily Download on Eastern North Carolina's CW.